nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Jungkook, now today I will teach you a lesson that what I will do with the people when they are not listening to me. A devilish smirk appear on his lips. He looked over at your red lips and poke his tongue inside his cheek and shamelessly room his eyes around your body. He trap you between his arm and touch your lips. You shrug his hand away from your lips. He smirk on your small touch on his hand and he again look towards you with dark eyes and his deadly glare making you uncomfortable. Your legs are not supporting your body because of his intense gaze on your wet figure which was wrapped only in towel. Tear drop from your eyes. Why you please let me go? Why are you doing this? I'm feel disgusted when you touch me, when you look me like this. He smirk on your innocent question and he come closer to your face. His house be touch your cold face. You again look down and close your eyes tightly. Jungkook, you don't know, without doing anything, you did a lot of things inside me. I'm getting crazy for your touch, for your body, for your warmness, for your wants, everything. I just want you for me, every night, every day. I just want you, heart, so hard, until I become satisfied from you. You feel disgusting after listening his word and look toward him. Why you, you are insane and disgusted person I've ever seen in my whole life. Jungkook, smirk. Sometimes your attitude surprises me. Where you get this courage to talk to me like this? You don't know how much dangerous I am and what I can do with you. So next time, don't try to raise your voice in front of me. Otherwise, I will show you what I can do with you, my little bird. You did not break the eye contact and still look toward him with full of anger. Jungkook, take your eyes down. I'm your master and I don't like when women look toward his master with angry eyes. You are slave and soon will be my pleasurable doll. After listening this, you tight your fist and slap on his face tightly. He becomes shocked like his whole world stops for a second. His eyes become wide open and he looks toward you with his deadly bloodshot eyes. Vayun, I'm not your slave, are you a pleasurable doll? And don't get any wrong ideas that I'm scared from you. I'm a fire and if you touch me, I will burn your life. Don't take me as the other girl who warm your bed for your pleasure. I will burn this bed and myself before the day will come. You say all of this by maintaining deadly eye contact with him. He becomes surprised after seeing your attitude. He took deep breath and nodded his head as no and start laughing like a psycho. And take few steps back from you, he control his laugh and wipe his stare which came to his eyes because of laughing. Jungkook, you slap me and you, you are threatening me. He quickly takes some calculated long steps and come near to your face and stare you with his killing red eyes which are enough to make you scared from him. Suddenly he grab you by your waist and insert his finger hardly into your skin which give you unbearable pain. He leave no gap between you and his body. He cracking his neck bone. He brushes the tip of his nose on your neck. Tear roll down from your cheek and you close your eyes tightly. Jungkook, how pretty you are looking caged under me. Now, where is your voice gone? Her knees getting weak in front of him. He traces his nose down her jawline before planting some torturing kisses on her collarbone. Why, Yoon, please leave me. You tried to push him away, but it was totally waste. You look toward him with your wet eyelash and pleading eyes. Jungkook, my little bird, you don't have any idea what you did today was the worst thing you ever did into your whole life. I will make you regret every single time and make your life a living hell, I promise. And you will come to me by your own wish and strip yourself from me every night. You will live your whole life in this cage and you will die into this cage. I promise I will make 
be the your monster of your nightmare and i will snatch your every happiness from your life and make it full with the darkness and heartful memories you wish to smile but tears will take place in your eyes so from now your bad days is start my little bird welcome to the devil hell my hell he clinched your jaws sending you dead clear he punched the side of the wall hardly that blood streamed down from his hand then he leave your jaw harshly you become scared from him and he walk away from the room after when he leave the room tear left from your eyes and you sit into the floor your body was shivering because of his deadly effect you control your emotion and get up from the floor Why you know what I did I put my hand into the monster cave I have to run away from this place before he do something bad with me I can't stay here you mumble to yourself and get up from the floor and still your body is shivering because of his deadly effect you wear your clothes and pack your stuff and again wipe your tears and come down from the stair Suddenly Mrs. Jeon saw you Mrs. Jeon why you where are you going why you pack your bags suddenly tear flow down from your eyes and you hug her Mrs. Jeon what happened why you're crying her eyes was roaming around your body suddenly she saw your wrist which was printed by Jungkook finger then she saw your neck where she saw high kiss tears rolled down from her eyes she again hug you back mrs john i'm sorry please forgive me i try my best to protect you from my son please forgive me you break the hug and look toward mrs john why you you don't have to be sorry it was not your mistake tear rolled down from your eyes mrs john where will you go it's too late if you want to leave to go into the morning Why you auntie no i have to go from here before anything bad got happen mrs john narrow has froze mrs john what you bad got happen what are you talking about what do you mean why you jungkook promised me that he will make my life hell her eyes become wide open and her body got cold like so let from her body why you auntie auntie what happened you shrug her shoulder she come back to the reality and look towards you with tearful eyes mrs john we have to be hurry before he see you come with me she take you to the back door and where the car was waiting for you already mrs john go back to your village and never come back here again promise me you don't know what to say Why you no I don't want to go back to the village I want to study I want to complete my dad dream Mrs Jeon if you love your father go back you don't have any idea what he will do with you if he found you it's better for you to leave this city and leave your village go back to the new place and you have to be hurry go believe me the fear was clearly visible into Mrs Jeon's eyes she give you some money and You sit it into the car with tearful eyes she say bye to you and the driver drive the car toward the village During whole drive you are worried for your father next morning you reach to the village and car stop near to your house you enter to the house and found your house is messy all the things into the floor and few drop of blood was into the doorstep you put your hand on your heart and then your eyes landed on to the note My little bird you think you can run away from me no chance at least not in this life come back to the mansion you have only 4 hours and after this i am not sure about it that you will meet your father alive it's your wish see you soon my little bird come back to the cage After reading this note you get down into your knees and shout out out of your lung and cry out of your heart why you why why god you are doing this with me why now there is no other way left for you you get up from the floor and wipe your tears and came out from your house and walk toward the car you look back toward your house and a beautiful memories flash into your mind and you turn your face toward the car and sit inside 
Why you turn the car toward the mansion? We are going back. Driver, okay, ma'am. He start the car and drive toward the mansion. After four hours, the car stopped near to the mansion. You came out from the car and run toward the main door, but suddenly one of the guards stop your way and gesture you toward the outhouse. You run toward the outhouse and reach to the house. You were breathing heavily and found the monster of your life is seated into the sofa and cross his leg. His eyes was closed, but after listening your footstep, a smirk appeared. on his lips Jungkook my little bird is arrived by you baba baba where are you tears flowing down from your eyes he look at you with a smirk and walk toward you he was watching you from head to toe and you look down because of fear he come closer to your neck and sniff your fragrance Jungkook ah i miss this fragrance so much he close his eyes and your tighten your fist to control your anger Faiyun, where is my Baba? He looked toward your face and smirked on your question. Jungkook, ah, my little bird, you look so beautiful when you are angry. I like this anger on your face. He grabbed your waist harshly and insert his nail in your skin. Faiyun, ah, please leave me. You are hurting me. You close your eyes tightly and slap on his shoulder, but he did not listen to you. Jungkook, how dare you to leave me from there? Tell me, little bird. He gritted his teeth and looked toward you with deadly eyes. Why, Yun? Where is my Baba? Tell me. You open your eyes and look toward him. Jungkook, yeah, I totally forget about him. He take the remote from the nightstand and stand behind you. Jungkook, come on, princess, let's watch a movie. You and you know your father is a main hero in this movie. You frown your brows and he turn on the screen and the scene you watch in front of your eyes you become shocked some of his men was beating your father mercilessly and your father's eyes are closed Why you baba you shout please leave him please he did nothing to you i beg you leave him you beg in front of him jungkook wow i was dying to see you like this in front of me don't today is my dream come true But my little bird you have to firstly call my name with full of love like you call me into the that night when we first met into the outhouse come on why you please leave my father he tuck your hairs back junko bird what i tell you call my name he was talking to you with full of love but he was hiding his anger into his sweet side of him why you junko you soft during saying his name jungkook that's my good girl he patted on your head jk so now let's talk about your dad life bye you now please leave him please jungkook i want to leave him but princess you did not read the note properly that i leave for you into your small house Why Yun I read it you look toward him with confusion he walked toward the sofa and sat in front of you Jungkook so then why are you 4 minutes and 37 seconds late he looked toward his watch and you arrive here 4 minutes late now i can't do anything your diet have to die your eyes got wide open and like soul left from your body you sit on your knees Why you no 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 please Jungkook I beg you don't do anything to my father please he tilted his head and looked toward you with his burning eyes Jungkook if I can't do anything to you or father and I can't do anything to you so then how I'll take my revenge tell me bird you wipe your tears and look toward him why you do whatever you want to do with me but leave my father he smirked like he was waiting for this moment Jungkook so you are telling me that I can do anything to you tears roll down from your eyes and you nodded your head as yes Jungkook so what will be your punishment hmm marry me surrender yourself to me for whole life and give me the pleasure to torture you every single time he gritted his teeth and looked toward you with his burning angry eyes you nodded your head as no why you no i will never marry you Jungkook so then okay let me kill your father he take out his phone from the top pocket and dial the number one of his card who is beating your father why you stop please don't do this i will repay myself into the other way but not this please slap me like this i did but please leave him 
Jungkook, I don't want to slap you on your face. Look yourself. You will die after I slap you. I will directly shoot you if I want. And yeah, I don't have much time to seeing your crying face and this emotional drama. If you are not agree to my condition, then let me do what I want. Vayun, please, I beg you, don't do this. Please, Jungkook, then decide it. You have only three seconds. Decide you want your father alive or not. Vayun, no, Jungkook, listen to me, please. Before you speak further, he cut your words. Jungkook, one, two, before he speak three, you cut his word by giving your answer. Vayun, I'm agree to your proposal. Uh, I will m- marry you. A devilish smirk appeared in his lips. Jungkook, leave him. He cut the call after giving him the order. They stop beating your father. Then Jungkook, tittle his head and hold your chin and make you look toward him. Jungkook, my little bird, get ready for the hell. He smirk and tear rolled down from your eyes. He hold your wrist tightly and drag you toward the mansion. Jungkook, you are not going outside. from the house until we got married then look toward you with full of hate and leave the room the door was closed with a loud bang you flinch and tears roll down from your eyes jungkook entered to his dad office and walked toward his cabin dad my son what are you doing here jungkook i am here to tell you something dad what tell me jungkook i decided to get married smile appear on his lips Dad, that's my son. I proud of you. Tell me who is this lucky girl. He looked toward his dad with serious expression. Jungkook, it's Vayun. Dad, what? Vayun, my friend's daughter. Jungkook, why you don't like her? Dad, it's not me that she's good looking girl, but uh, she don't have any status like us. She belong from the poor family. Jungkook, I don't care about money and status. I want her in any condition. Dad, so okay, fine. Play with her for a few months, and after when you get satisfied from her, find someone else. There is lots of girl in this world for you, my son. He smirk and hug his father. Dad, I talk to my friend, Jungkook. No, you don't need to. It's someone else need to talk to her dad. He smirk and came out from the office. Into the midnight, you are sleeping into the floor because you did not eat anything, so you feel weak. You did not get it, and after crying a lot, you sleep into the floor. Someone opened the door lock and entered to your room. He walked toward you and sat into the floor and looked toward your sleepy figure. He tucked your hairs back to your ear to see your face clearly. You are still sobbing into the sleep. Your eyes were puffy because of cries. He tilted his face and blow on your face because of the cold blow. You open your eyes slowly, and his face was closer to your face. You flinch and look toward him with wide eyes. Jungkook, scared, my little bird. Don't worry. After one day, you will see my face every day. Now get up. He get up from the floor, and you also, Jungkook. I'm here to give you your first punishment. Why you? Why marrying you is the biggest punishment for me? He smirk. Jungkook, I know, but now I'm here to give you a little punishment. He take out the cigarette and place it between his teeth and light it up. Release a toxic smoke puff into the air. He look toward your small figure and walk toward you. Jungkook, leave your father forever. Why you? What? Jungkook, yes, I want you alone. Make your father hate you that he never see your face ever into his whole life. Why you? No, never. He is my only family. I never do this. Jungkook, my bird, why are you so stubborn? Tomorrow is our wedding, and how will you attend two occasion into a one time? Tell me. He frowns his brows and look toward you. Why you? Two occasion? JK one is our wedding and second is your dad funeral tell me because if you all always argue with me like this then i will have to kill your father because you are his stubborn daughter who don't love his father at all i'm right tear rolled down from your cheek and you look toward him with his petty eyes 
Why you? How can someone be so cruel? How you slap on his chest with your small hand, which was not affecting him a little? Jungkook, stop, bird, stop. Then you will be regret. You did not pay any attention to his word and continue pushing him and slapping on his chest. Now he did not take it any more, and he hold your both wrists tightly and pin your small figure toward the wall and look toward your face. Jungkook, I'm warning you. Do what I said, otherwise you will attend your father's funeral very soon. Why you? I hate you, Jungkook. He smirk on your words. JK, I have also a same feeling for you, but I want to enjoy with you. You are different from other. I want to break this attitude, this anger, and everything of yours. Why you? I will never forgive you. What are you doing with me? He come near to your ear and whisper. Jungkook, and did I ask for your forgiveness? Do what I said. You are meeting to your father in twenty minutes. He leave your wrist and came out from the room. You sit into the floor and cry out of your heart. Why you help me? Please God, please don't do this with me. After twenty minutes, one of his guard enter to your room and you walk with him. You sit into the car and Jungkook sit beside you. Tears was rolling down from your eyes and you looking outside from the window. Jungkook, you know you are looking pretty when you are crying. I really love these small watery drops of your eyes, especially when it came out because of me. After a few minutes, car stopped near to the house. It was dark, like evils or witches are living inside it. You look toward the house, but your legs are not supporting your body. Like someone take out your all strength, and guard open the door, but you did not move an inch. Jungkook touch your hand and hold your wrist tightly, and because of pain, you come out from your thought. Why you ah? You look toward the person. He smirk and already looking toward you. Jungkook, let's go, bird. It's time to say goodbye to your father. You came out from the car and walk behind him. After a few minutes, you stand in front of the door. Your father look toward you and his eyes got wide open. He run toward you and hug you tightly. You close your eyes tightly and did not hug him back. Baba, my daughter, what are you doing here? Go run away from here. He break the hug and look toward you. Vayun, Baba, you are going back to the village. Baba, what? Really? Okay, let's go before they saw us. He hold your wrist and walk outside from the room, but you did not move from your place. Baba, what happened, princess? Come on, before they come and get us, we leave this place. Vayun, you go. I will stay in here. Baba, what are you saying? Vayun, tomorrow I am going to marry with someone. Your dad become shock. Baba, what are you saying? Have you lost your mind? You are too young. You have to focus on your studies. Vayun, Baba. You know he's rich, so rich that he can complete my all wishes. That you can't complete it in my whole life. He give me all the luxurious thing that I have always dreamed for. You are just a poor man, and I don't want it to end it up my life like you. Tear flow down from your dad eyes. Baba, but my daughter, I try my best to give you everything. Why you? What you give me into my whole life? Just small house and three time foods. That's it. I want more, Dad, and he can only give me this. And I really don't want that you meet with him. I don't want that that does he see you in this cheap clothes. He have some standard, so just go away from here and never see my face ever into your whole life. Your heartless words break your dad inside. Baba, I was thinking my daughter is still little princess, but I was wrong. You really grown up, and yeah, you can take your life decisions also. I will never interfere in your life again. Be happy and take care of your health. You did not turn to see your father because your eyes was full with the tears. After this, he turn and leave you alone. Forever, you quickly turn and look toward your father, but he was gone already. You can't control yourself because it was the first time you disrespect him and hurt him 
his feeling you run to hug your father but suddenly someone grab your wrist and push you toward his body Jungkook wow my bird i'm impressed you're such a good actor you try to release your hand from his grip why you baba baba please come back please forgive me tears was flowing from your eyes but he hold your hand more tightly jungkook don't cry bird it's time to go back to your permanent cage he drag you toward his car and close the door suddenly the rain got start and you look toward the sky with your teary eyes Why Yoon can you stop the car Jungkook no Why Yoon just take it as my last wish I hope you will complete it before you take me to your hell suddenly he stopped the car and looked toward you Jungkook take this as a last favor I was given to you you look toward your outside and open the car door Why Yoon don't worry I'm not running from you I just want to breathe Jungkook if you wish to run away from me you can't i know very well how to capture the bird into my cage he smirked and you came out from the car and let the rain droplets fell on your body soon your clothes get wet and tears flowing down from your eyes you cry out of your heart and he was watching you with his full of lust eyes Jungkook i never know but you are that much sexy He mumbled and bit his lower lip and you fell on your knees and cry on your faith after a few minutes he came out from the car and walked toward you you were still crying jungkook stop this emotional drama your time is over come get up he again said to you but you did not respond suddenly he shrugged your shoulder and you faint into the road jungkook why you get up get up open your eyes After getting no response he pick you up into the bridal style and walk toward his car he place you into the back seat and turn his car toward the mansion after few minutes when he reached to the mansion he take you into his arms and walk toward your room he place you to the bed and call the maid maid master junko call the doctor maid look towards you maid master let me change her clothes first junko look toward her with his deadly glare Jungkook do what i said she got scared and take few steps back and came out from the room immediately he quickly take out your clothes from your bag and walk toward the door after locking the door he came and sit beside you you are burning into the high fever he place his hand into your waist and slowly make you up to from the bed he put your face on his shoulder But into the sleep you turn your face toward his neck and your heart beat touch his neck the tip of your nose was touching his skin he suddenly gulp his lamb and close his eyes he feel unknown sensation into his body when you touch his neck it never happened before he hold his breath and released it after few second he feel goosebumps into his hands Jungkook I never know your small touch affects me that much Jungkook don't do this bird you are turning on my sleeping devil